be saying it the 10 episodes in a row. We are ready to take the body part and spot weld the subrails to the body so we have a whole complete vehicle or body at least. So uh, we're gonna, Mike and I are going to blow everything apart, uh, pull it off in pieces so that I can drill, uh, so we can sand and prep all the subrails um, and then drill some holes for spot welds. Um, before we put it back together. So we got to do a disassembly here for a short time, uh, but then we can start putting it back together, get everything aligned, weld it up, and uh, hopefully move on from this part of the process. So uh, yeah, let's get started. so that it is uh, sealed up and then I drilled a bunch of holes in here, kind of pilot holes so that we can plug weld them and get everything uh, clamped together and spot weld together so you can take it apart as one. So I'm going to fire up the MIG welder and just work my way from the rear up to the front of the car and get everything uh, spot welded together and hopefully we'll have a solid car finally. So yeah, let's get going. halfway done with welding the, uh, the subrails together and welding the body to the subrails. Uh, one thing I wanted to stop and show you guys if you're doing one of these, um, this is something that could be easily missed. I almost missed it when we were putting it together. Um, this B pillar area that we repaired, um, not only do you want to get your doors to latch and line up pretty good, uh, the other thing is, is that it actually creates uh, some slack in the rear quarter panel if it's not pulled forward enough. So it's going to naturally want to uh, pull back because there's some tension in the panel and uh, it'll pull this back and it'll actually make it loose in the quarter panel and that might give you some oil canning effect or when you're doing your body work the, the quarter panel is going to have a big bulge in it from the B pillar to where the wheel well starts. So what we're doing is, and we'll get a shot on both sides, um, I'm pulling forward on this and putting a clamp in as I pull forward on it and you can see We'll drop in a shot, but you can see the quarter panel pull, pull tight when I'm doing that. And we just got to do this on the first couple. There we go. And this is also going to help your gap on the inside. Uh, again, like I've been saying over and over again, I'm not trying to go for a show car here, but I also don't want to be able to stick my whole hand through the inside door gap. So by pulling this in, it's going to pull the gap on the inside and also the outside uh, in a little bit. Uh, which is really important uh, for a roadster like this. We don't have the roof in there, so we want stuff to fit a little bit better. Um, you know, take the extra time and make it fit a little better. So I have this pulled in here. Now what I can do is just drill my little holes for spot welds. 
Um, get it locked in place and then on the, uh, around the subrail here where it kind of steps over, I'll use the hammer as I weld it and get a little heat into it to just make it form into the subrail real nice. So um, I'm going to get this clamped in a little more and we're going to start welding. Else, uh, all spot welded together, got the body um, welded to the subrails, and we actually have a car that is complete. A whole car, or body at least. So uh, we got this up on the stands here so I can I can tinker with it a little bit, but really what I'm gonna do now is probably move over to the chassis and focus on finishing all the damage and everything that we've only I've been picking away at it here and there. Uh, so we're going to work on getting that stuff fixed so that we can actually set the body up on the chassis and start doing all of that. So um, I'm going to send the, the frame away. Uh, my buddy Jamie that, that's been helping me out a little bit, he wants to start a hot rod project. So he, uh, I gave him a killer deal on a spare frame I had and then also the, uh, the drivetrain out of the Roadster. It's actually not that bad of shape, it's just the frame was all rotten. So we're going to roll this up on my trailer and uh, get this off to him. He's gonna take it home, cut it all up, give me back a couple uh, parts that I want, and he's gonna have a nice complete drive train he can build up on his frame. So making all these parts live on, saving as much of the old tin as we can. Uh, that's all I have for this week. It's been a big one. Thanks guys for watching as always. Make sure you subscribe. Every Friday we launch a video on, generally on the Sweetheart Roadster, but 
uh, on something that we're working on. So thanks again, guys. Catch you later.